Hi, this is Joe at Cable Guys. Have you ever felt like your tracks lack the flow, life and musical movement of professional productions? Then keep watching because I'll show you how to achieve all of this using only filters. I'll be using ShaperBox 2's Filter Shaper Core 2 module. To follow along, get the demo in the link below, or feel free to adapt these tips to other plugins. Stay tuned till the end for 8 bonus filtering tips, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Filtering is a bit like audio sculpture, removing certain frequencies from a sound to alter its tone and timbre. Modulating a low-pass filter's cutoff with a basic LFO wave shape gives you a good idea of what the filter sounds like. That's pretty boring, so let's add groove to this loop using rhythmic LFO shapes. To get started, click through the wave presets. Adding resonance emphasizes the cutoff's movement. Listen for a rhythm that fits musically, then edit the LFO waveform to suit the sound. Some filters feature a stereo offset control, which further helps your filtering find its place in the mix. To focus the filter on particular frequencies, shift the cutoff modulation by dragging Filter Shaper Core 2's cutoff tile. If the effect is still too strong, you can blend in the dry signal with mix. If you want to go beyond presets and design your own unique LFO patterns, here are the basic shapes you'll need to understand. Sharp downward spikes create transient-like plucks. Upward ramps create a rushing, opening effect. Square steps create jumps in tone, almost like a melody. Smooth curves create wobbles. And combine all these shapes for more interesting patterns. Side chaining or volume ducking is often used to create movement. But did you know you can use filters as an alternative to side chaining? Instead of modulating volume, use the same LFO shapes to pump the filter up and down to the beat. Set the LFO's length to a quarter note, then select or draw a typical sidechain curve. At full range and with no resonance, the effect is close to classic volume-based sidechaining. To make the filtering more audible, increase resonance. and narrow the cutoff range. Make variations by flipping and editing the waveform. or duplicate the waveform to create a full bar of pumping, with occasional variations. If your music calls for more classic analogue style movement, then set your LFO to a longer rate of at least one bar, and get your filters cut off cycling with a traditional sine or triangle waveform. Vintage analog gear doesn't have tempo syncing, so for true authenticity, unsync the LFO and set its rate in hertz.
the LFO drifting in and out of sync gives unpredictable modulation. This works especially well when you want to stun your listeners with swirling stereo phaser effects. Faster rates create a familiar up and down wobble effect. But be warned, speed up your LFO too much and you'll enter audio brake territory. An LFO stamps the same modulation pattern on your sounds no matter what the audio is actually doing. For filtering that reacts to your music, use an envelope follower. The louder the input signal, the more the filter will open or close. Amount sets the strength of modulation. Use attack, hold and release to shape how quickly the envelope responds to peaks in the audio input. Short times give tight, plucky effects that closely mirror the audio's dynamics. Longer attack times make the filter open slower. Try modulating a phaser with an envelope follower for funky talking effects. When you want to breathe subtle life and motion into parts, while retaining most of their original frequency spectrum, try modulating peak or notch filters. A notch filter gives a shimmery, watery sound. Or try a phaser type to scan multiple peaks or notches across the frequency spectrum. This can sound extra lush with some subtle stereo offset. Tame the effect by reducing the LFO's range. And by blending the dry signal back in. You can use these filter types to add a tickle of life and inconsistency to repetitive hi-hats or percussion. Generally, you'll want the LFO to cycle for longer than the loop length of the source for a repeating eighth note hi-hat you can use a one bar LFO. Filters are essential tools for improving the flow of your arrangements. Generally, a long filter sweep down releases tension, such as when entering a Karma breakdown section. A sweep up usually increases the feeling of tension. A high pass filter is often used to gently thin out the lows, letting you know that a drop is about to happen. Another filter types can work with increased resonance to create risers or down sweep effects. Filter sweeps over shorter lengths of one or two bars can create edits, fills and turnarounds. If your track's hook is already heavily filtered, open the filter to reveal the full frequency sound and release some tension. Or if there isn't a lot of filtering in your track, use mega obvious sweeps. Mm -hmm. 
To wrap up, here are some bonus filter tips to help your music move and breathe. Try displacing the LFO in time, move the waveform in 16th notes, or finally shift off the grid to transform the groove. To create syncopated phrases that continually shift around the beat, set the LFO's loop length to an odd number. When you're stuck for inspiration, roll the dice and randomize your LFO shape. Or only randomize the LFO points vertically to retain a tempo locked rhythm. If full range filtering is messing up your signal's low end, go multiband and modulate only the mids and highs and leave the lows alone. Go crazy and animate the bass, mids and treble with completely different filter setups. Or create a call and answer effect. For example, sweep the mids for the first half of a one bar pattern. Then the highs for the second half. And finally, make sure you mangle, excite, and stereoize your filtered signal with other processors. And reorder the effects in the chain for wildly different results. That's all for this guide to creating musical movement with filters. You can buy or demo Filter Shaper Core 2 and the rest of Shaper Box 2 at the link below or at cableguys.com and subscribe for more tutorials like this.